excited to be launching the 17th season of the Union Square Farmers Market. This is a tradition in Somerville that fills a place in people's hearts and their fridges regularly. And it's become one of those few traditions that we all look forward to because we know that spring and summer is here. So big changes this year. I am here with John Fenton. He's with DLJ Real Estate Capital Partners. And for a second year, John is our season sponsor that is making all of this possible. So we want to do a big thanks to John. You're welcome. We're happy to do it. Um, I mean, this is this is a tradition that we uh, really like to support. It's, it makes uh, the community real, and we love participating and being part of it. We are on Somerville Avenue in the heart of Union Square here. We are in the stretch of Somerville Ave that runs from Carlton Street near Play Union to Hawkins Street near Jerry's Liquor. And with the partnership of the city of Somerville, we could not have done this without the help and support of so many. We have closed this major thoroughway down to vehicular traffic so that people can be shopping in open air safely as we, as we continue to operate through a pandemic. This new location has allowed us to welcome more vendors as well, which is incredibly exciting because so many small businesses get their start with us. They have an idea, they have a product, they want to test it, they want to get that feedback from real-time shoppers. This market provides 28 weeks for those entrepreneurs to be able to test products, refine them, and really grow their customer base. So we are starting out very COVID prepared and very COVID safe. Everyone's wearing masks as the city of Somerville requires us to do with our event permit. You will see that some things have changed from last year. For example, there's no longer a one-way traffic pattern. We are all maintaining social distance from one another with the support of our amazing volunteers. It's incredible to be getting back into the heart of the community the way that we we are used to being in the community and look forward to the market growing out as the weeks and months unfold. This market happens every Saturday until the Saturday before Thanksgiving, so that's November 20th this year. So I am uh, Jimmy from Hook Fish Shop here at the Farmer's Market, Saturday Union Square Farmer's Market, right in front of Bow Market and right in front of my fish shop here. I um, have had this fish shop for like three years, selling fresh local Atlantic fish and making uh, preparations from the fish and raw bars. Um, so loving it here, love doing the local thing and, and love be bringing people uh, the amazing North Atlantic fresh fish. Hi, we are Giant Gorilla Greens. Uh, we're a microgreens company. We started operations a year ago when um, the COVID-19 pandemic started. And we are super, super excited to be at the Union Square Farmers Market. Um, I have not, honestly, I have not been here before, but I know it's one of the biggest markets uh, around Boston. And um, we were really keen on getting in. We're super excited to be here on opening day. Uh, we aren't, we actually aren't doing too many farmers markets this year because we were like Union Square Farmers Market is gonna be huge for us. Just we're excited for the rest of the season. What's up y'all, my name is Will, this is Fran. We work for Michael Terra Farms out in the land beyond, you know, west of Worcester. So, you know, mostly with dragons and hippie college students. Uh, I think we sell mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a yeah. Yeah. No. It's gorgeous. Yeah. No. It's, it's yeah, fun. It's fun time. Just jazz to be here. It's really nice to be on this street selling mushrooms to people. All right. Ooh. Big boys. Good shoes. You still like the red pepper and that's so good. What a beautiful day to be at the farmer's market. We're Freedom Food Farm. We're located in Raynham. We have local, regeneratively grown produce. We have free range, like pasture range meats, um, hot sauces, vegan burgers, frozen turmeric and ginger, all kinds of goodies. Uh, today we have a lot of our seedlings and potted plants that you can take home and start your own garden situation. Nasturtiums. So yeah, lots of goodies. And we'll be here every Saturday until the end of November. I'm with Garbage to Garden Curbside Composting. 
The way it works is pretty simple. Households receive a bin, either five gallons like this, or 12 gallons <laughs> like this, based on your household's needs. We know it's not one size fits all. You fill it up with all of your food scraps every week, and we come by and collect it on your trash and recycling day. And if you have a use for it, you are also eligible to receive a bag of finished compost for your garden. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, hi, my name is Paul O'Connell and I'm with Mariposa Bakery, my girlfriend Suzanne's Bakery. Mariposa's in Central Square in Cambridge. We're here at Union Square Farmers Market and this is our favorite market. So it's a beautiful day, we're really excited. Uh, so come on down to the market. My name's Anita, I'm from Beverly Bees. Uh, Beverly Bees is a beekeeping and bee removal company. We uh, sell honey from our bees. We make these beautiful beeswax candles. We also make uh, skin care from our bees with all the organic ingredients and then our beeswax. Uh, we do honey a little bit differently than a lot of people. We have about 100 hives all over Massachusetts and New Hampshire. We don't move them for pollination. They're stationary year round and then we spin out all of the hives separately and then put the town on the label where the hive is from. Thank <laughs> you.